Ooh, it's uh, it's pretty rough. <laughs> it's pretty rough being a Ravens fan right now with uh everything going on with Darius Smith. <laughs> My fault, y'all, but Bengals. Oh, Bengals. Bengals just want to make it worse. They like, oh, Zadarius Smith backed out of his deal with the Ravens? You know what? Let's go ahead and twist that knife that much more. Because the Bengals, oh, that's an upgrade. The Bengals are signing Hayden Hurst. Oh, man, I um, I wasn't, like, hung up on it or anything, but I, I, was, I wouldn't have minded if uh, Hayden Hurst would have made a reunion with the Ravens because Ravens have been missing – that other tight end that's similar to Mark Andrews that can stretch the field, that got good hands, that's a playmaking tight end, and that is what Hayden Hurst is, especially if he's going to be the featured tight end for the Bengals. Oh, this is a great move for the Bengals, a great move. I don't know. I didn't see what the details of the deal are yet. I did see, I believe it's a one-year deal, but this is a great move because you have, again, a pass catcher, a former first round pick. He's a little older now. He's a little older because he was, I think when the Ravens drafted him, he was like 25, I think. So he was an older rookie. But um, it, he's a good player, man. Straight up. I, I do. I, I miss the days when he was on the Ravens. Come out with them two tight end sets, him and Mark Andrews. Oh, those were the days. But what Hayden Hurst gives you, and, and I said it back when he was on the Ravens, um, he had the best hands on the team the best hands on the team um and he so his catching is not a problem he's gonna catch everything thrown his way he does not have an issue with drops he has good speed um the situation first with the ravens it was that he was a first round draft pick obviously him and lamar both got drafted in the first round in 2018 and he was looking good in preseason he was looking good and then he got hurt he got hurt. Mark Andrews stepped in. Mark Andrews showed out. Ravens never looked back. And Hayden Hurst, he was like, man, I just, I, I want a shot. I want a chance. I want to start. I want an opportunity. And he knew it wasn't going to come with the Ravens because Mark Andrews had already taken over. So he requested a trade. Ravens trade him to Atlanta where he can be the starting tight end there. He does his thing a little bit over there, but then the following year. <laughs> Uh, so I guess he ain't doing his thing enough because the following year, the uh, the Falcons, they draft Kyle Pitts. So now Hayden Hurst got to be like, man, I cannot catch a break. So now he's going back to the AFC North where it all started with the Cincinnati Bengals. He is going to be a legitimate threat. I'm telling you. Like, Bengals already got so many threats already. Obviously, Jamal Chase. Obviously, Tyler Boyd. Obviously, T. Higgins. Obviously, Joe Mixon and, of course, Joe Burrow. So, Joe Burrow got all those weapons. Now they're adding Hayden Hurst to that. <laughs> and they've been working on their offensive line, too. And they, they, I saw the report that said the Bengals and the Dolphins are interested in Lyle Collins. Whenever he does officially get released, they said it's supposed to be the day. But, so, we'll see what happens with that. So, man, <laughs> Bengals, like, they in good shape. They in good shape. Um, because they they lost C.J. Uzama to the Jets. He signed a deal with the Jets. Um, but they are certainly getting somebody that can come in and like C.J. Uzama. He was a nice tight end, but the production, his production, it wasn't anything crazy that can't be replaced. And with them adding Hayden Hurst, that production can certainly be replaced. And I don't want to say it's gonna be doubled, but you got to think like. Because, I mean, you you still got all those other receivers and they probably all going to go for a thousand yards all over again. But I, I, with what, how much yards did he have last year? I think CJ Uzama had like 450, 489 yards, something like that. Yeah, a little over 450 yards. Um, So if Hayden got 900, he will double that. I mean, they got 17 games and uh, <laughs> it's going to be weird seeing Hayden Hurst in the Bengals jersey and Ravens going up against him and stuff. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to be fun. I do like this. I, I like when other teams, especially other teams in the division, uh, because you've got to play them twice a year. I like when other teams, they really show that they're trying to get better and they're trying to right their wrongs and they're trying to do this thing. Because as a fan of the AFC North, as a fan of the Ravens myself, it makes me feel like I right, Ravens are hopefully watching that. So that makes them, that will force them to step up their game 
as well. Now, hopefully, Ravens don't have anybody else back out of the deal. And with the Bengals, hey, don't get too hyped if Hayden Hurst ain't signed yet because you never know. He might as Darius Smith you. I don't know. He go see. He could go get more money elsewhere. But... <laughs> Oh, this has been a crazy hour. Um, it's just been a crazy hour, man. We got a lot to talk about. You are getting ready to see uh, an influx of videos. Because um, some other stuff is going on in the AFC North as well. Something that we were talking about this morning. As far as a quarterback not ever going being able to play for that team again. But we'll talk about that when we do. i see you all in a little bit. We out. <laughs>